This is Travis and I'm going to show you the MTG X-Ray app and how to brew with it. So I've got a brew here that I found. It was popular, uh, a little pirate deck. I'm going to just simply put that into X-Ray. I noticed that it had 61 cards. So we have to decide, are we going down in lands or are we may be taking a creature out? So in my settings, I'm going to make sure we're not doing brawl, we're not doing sealed, but we're doing a 60 card deck. It's a fairly aggro build. I'm not going to play more than 24 lands, and I'm going to give it about two minutes to figure out this problem for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take at least one of each of these lands and put it in the sideboard. I'm going to I'm going to do the same with a few of the creatures I'm unsure about. Should we be curving out with these creatures, or should we be putting something else in? So you can see I've got eight choices in my sideboard. We've got 53 slots, so seven of these eight are going to make it into my deck. Everything up top is going to stay. These are the choices it's going to select and put seven of these. But let's go ahead and tempt it with maybe another Spire Bluff, another set of lands here. Maybe some of these other creatures if we want to go up uh, and, 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 and uh, fill in. So all I need to do from here is hit the Think button. And we're just going to give it two minutes of time. It's going to run through thousands of deck combinations, and it's going to test each one of those probably more than a thousand times, depending on how much time and how fast your computer is. And in the background, you see it changing the ratios of everything. That's the computer thinking scientifically, writing down millions of goldfish games and what the results are and what is the best to get your curve out. So let's pause it. We'll come back and see what it came up with. All right, it's just finishing up. It got about 1,500 games against all those different combinations. It went ahead and went with 22 lands. And it left these in the sideboard. Now, if I want to see how that compares, I can score it. And I can see that over the course of the game, it's dropping 22 units spells worth of mana and it's curving out 76%. That's pretty good. Let's go back and look at the original deck from the original builder. We could score that, and we can see, you know, there's variation every time you hit the, the score button, but basically he's dropping one less unit of mana and curving out a few percentage points less. So I think we improved this deck. That's how you can improve your brews and get them very tuned and get the mana perfected. So thanks for considering MTG X-Ray. You can find it in the store by searching MTG space X-Ray. You can find it on iOS, the Windows Store, Droid. Uh, give me feedback. I need people to let me know how it went for them, what we can improve. We're going to be very active. I think you'll be pleased.